Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stop. Great. Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. Okay. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. She can't fix the radio. I want to head out. I could use a jog. <laughs> she can't fix the radio at all. Puts batteries in the wrong way. But I'm going to take her with me. This can't go wrong. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? All right. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Let's do it. Jesus. That doesn't look so good. Who is that? Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? This is not be good. Days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, think so. I like how they're still. Keep it down out of here. They still have hope. Don't get back to normal. I've got, I've got a wedding to go to. All right, let's see. So what can we do out here? That's the TV store. Oh, I should... Oh, I could turn... That's why I need the remote. I could turn that on and distract him if I need it. Hardware store. It's a combination lock. Okay. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. <laughs> that place is full of TVs and electronics. All right. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Oh, they're not on them. Hmm. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility. So. Right. He's clever. Brick. I can't reach that brick. Combinate. All right, so we're gonna need to figure out the combination to open that up. And then maybe we can distract them by turning the TVs on or something. But then where am I going? Trapped walker. Look at the one trapped over there. Better oh no, it's my brother. Yeah, he's the pharmacy manager. Oh, shit. What? Do you know that guy? Uh. Kind of. He has a familiar face. Uh, you're from around here, huh? 
could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up. And... Dude. Shut up, Doug. Shut up, Doug. <laughs> oh, it's my brother. All right, so. Uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Okay. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. All right, so to get Doug in, I got to show him the picture. Lee's brother. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is. That's as cool. He's puzzling way. this out. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to open the lock though. Out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, I know how to distract them, but how do I? Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. <laughs> but we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> this guy's funny. All right, so we need to. How? What do we do with the lock? Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, <laughs> but not that universal. Yeah. Not, uh, Doug can't take a joke. I can't reach that brick. All right. So how do we open the lock? I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're going to help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. All right, let's go. Uh... Let's head back inside. Okay. Can I reach that brick maybe with the, uh, the pimp stick? And maybe I can smash that lock off then? With the brick? Nothing out there. Yeah, let's go get the. Uh... I guess Carly could just shoot it off, right? That'll bring all the zombies over there. I can't get the. It won't let me. Get the stick. I want the stick. I need. There was something over here, I thought. No. He won't let me get my dad's cane. I need the cane. Look at me. I'm doing the moonwalk. I'm moonwalking. All right, maybe not. All right. Got to think about this. Got to think about this. Ice cream machine. Newspaper clippings, photographs, greeting cards. Newspaper. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Does Carly have anything useful to hey, say? Carly. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Alright. How are we going to do this? How do we get out? We're going to go out the back way into the alley? Okay. So I guess we'll do this part first. <gasps> Oh boy. We jumped right into it, didn't we? So maybe we'll find something out here to open up that lock. Alright, where's Glenn? Did you see that? Sure 
did. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. That was kind of easy. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. Oh no. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. Oh no. I tried to convince her I wasn't. Can we stop with the kids? No more kids, no invalids, no sick people. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> oh, maybe it's not a little girl. All right, this got a little bit more tense. Oh, there's an axe. 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 I like this plan. I like how they're showing you everything around here. We're going for the axe. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. See, we're starting to get smart. I like this, finally. Someone with some sense, and it's me. Peek over the wall, W. Oh man. She's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. There's one back there, trying to get into a room. But I didn't see anyone actually in there. Ugh, I don't want to peek anymore. I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. We can hide by that pickup. Girls behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. Oh man, I'm gonna mess this up. That's everything I know, man. But you know, watch out. A pillow. There's a pillow over there. <laughs> That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Okay. I'm glad he does. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Okay, can you clue me in on what you have in mind? We can hide by that RV if we're quiet and keep our heads down. All right. I'm gonna go this way. I like the axe. Oh boy. Oh, there's another one. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Hmm. Oh, this is really kind of scary. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to totally mess this up. All right, let's go back. Get 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 back. What's her idea? There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. All right, let's go over by the truck. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing to see here. Go take a look. Oh, great. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. That's not a great way. Get it quietly. That's very... I can break the window. Oh, with the pillow. I'm gonna pillow the window. Pillow the window. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
All right. Um. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just break the glass. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fellow lurking near the front. I gotta smother him. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. All right. Stay this right sounds good. Me. I like this. How is that not that loud? Was sick. I don't know. It worked. That's all I know. Push car. Open door. So keys. Gear shift. What's that? Spark plug. That's just sitting there. Okay. Good. Unlock the gear shift. It's a spark. It's a spark. It's a spark plug. You should hold on to that. Come in handy. All right, here we go. We're gonna push the car. What are you doing with the car over there? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just stuck. Alright. So now we got no one... I still can't... I guess I can open the door now? Or should I break the window? Or should we go over this way now? Nope. They want me to open the door. All right. Spark plug. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Okay. What's inside these things? Turns car windows to tissue paper. Oh. He's smart. He's like MacGyver. They just turn around. I heard something. Oh well. There's Doritos in here. Gotta get in there. All right. That's what I like. A nice stabby. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Nice close quarters, gross weapon to get all kinds of zombie guts on me. All right. Let's go back. So far, so good. This is like tense, you gotta figure things out while there's lots of bad things happening. Alright, let's do it. Alright, now there's only one zombie over here and I have a weapon, right? Oh, in the head. In the head. There we go. There we go. See? I watched the show. It's gotta be in the head. Oh, there's another one. Go, Glenn! Get him! There we go. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Okay. Should we take this guy out? Give me that axe. There we go. <laughs> where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> That's cool. Now we've got this. Yeah, why don't you take the all though? Alright, I feel a little bit safer. That should help. Alright, here we go. 
don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Ah, oh, my heart's like beating out of my chest. Alright, let's not mess this up, Lee. Come on. He's gonna fall or something, isn't he? Yeah! That's it. You want some? You want some of this? Good. Nice. Hello? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. Dominoes. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no. She's in trouble. Oh Miss, no. We're coming in. I don't think you should go in there. Something's wrong with her. Oh, this is going to be gross. I have a bad feeling about this. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. <laughs> 